Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, uh, outside the lane where we just turned Norwich over 3-0 on Boxing Day. This is my post-match review. I think it's fair to say that before the game today, typical kind of Tottenham fan syndrome set in, which is, you know, we've got into fourth place, we've got an opportunity, especially with Man United losing earlier on in the afternoon 2-0, got an opportunity to cement that fourth place position. We've got a game at home against a team who, yeah, they've done well, they're having a decent season, they won last week at Man United, but we should be beating this team. And this syndrome kicks in where we think, Surely we're going to mess up, surely we're going to slip up. And all I can say is it was a professional performance, an excellent performance. I don't want to do it down, it wasn't just professional, a fantastic performance. We won 3-0, we should have probably scored 6 or 7. Their keeper Declan Rudd, I have to say, had a brilliant game. You can see why he's in ahead of John Ruddy, the England international at the moment. But I uh, have to say, other than the first 20-25 minutes, and this happens a lot in Premier League games, it's kind of cagey and both teams have chances. I have to say Norwich had a couple of chances. Hugo made a couple of really good saves and Norwich had set out really well. I like their manager, Alex Neal. I really do. I think he's a, a, an excellent tactician. But once we got the goal, which was from a penalty from Harry Kane. Now, I can't remember exactly and you can get, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Eric Lamella who slipped in a beautiful pass into Harry and all Harry had to do was get a little toe on it and Rudd took him out. That doesn't take away from Rudd's performance, if you ask me, because he had an absolute worldie. Harry Kane puts the, uh, the penalty straight down the middle and from there, there was only one winner, really. We got the second one uh, uh, soon after with uh, through Harry. And from there, it was just how many was it going to be? We were excellent. Uh, I'm going to give, uh, you know, the, we bossed the midfield, but I'm going to talk about the defence for a while. Talk about Toby Alderweireld. There are a few uh, occasions in the game today that sum up what an important signing he has been for us. So many little, little times where a little ball was uh, slid through that could have led to a half chance, but Toby was sweeping up in behind Jan. Now, in seasons previous where we've had Jan, uh, sorry, uh, Yunus Kabul, and dare I even say it, Vlad Karikas as our options, uh, that hasn't been happening. Jan has been left totally isolated. Toby and Jan, I, look, tell me if you think there is a better centre-back partnership in the country, in Europe at the moment, because I don't see it. They obviously love playing alongside each other. Also, Kyle Walker is a better player because he's playing alongside those players. And Danny Rose plays really well. Or today, Ben Davis came in and did a great job too. So I just want to give huge props to Toby Alderweireld. For £12 million, it's an absolute steal. I, really, I think I've said this before, but I don't know which defenders Atletico Madrid have there that mean they can get rid of Toby Alderweireld for 12 million because he's quick, he's big, he wins everything in the air, and his football brain is absolutely outstanding. As well as that, in, ahead of him, Eric Dyer had another classy game. And Moussa Dembele, I have to say, I think he's the key. I'm the first to say, before this season, I didn't think he'd done it for us. I didn't think he was the player he was at Fulham. He didn't believe in himself as much as he should. He didn't have the confidence to take the ball and run forward and link the play. This season, he's everything. He's a monster. He wins everything. You can't get the ball off him. It's an, I think he's becoming a 30 million, 35 million pound player, you know. And that, you know, if anyone's come, coming in for our players again, I wouldn't be surprised if he's top of their list at the moment. Obviously, got to talk about Harry Kane. He scored two goals again. He's a natural born, born goal scorer. The, uh, the first one, penalty, great finish. Second one, he was slipped in and it was almost inevitable. Just one little touch to open it up, but Song couldn't get near it. Bottom left-hand corner. That, to me, is his trademark finish. He'll be doing that all through his career. He will be scoring 20 league goals every season in his career, I think. I really do, from here on in. Uh, uh, injury apart. Those of you who said you thought he'd be a one-season wonder must just be like laughing at yourselves at the moment, frankly. It's just embarrassing. You can't keep a good player like that down. He's got so many elements of the Shearer about him. For those of you who don't remember Shearer because you're too young in his pomp, he scored about 300 Premier League goals because he was just too good. And Kane is similar. But Kane's got a bit more pace about him as well and a little bit of the Teddy sharing him as well. He's just a fantastic all-round player. As for Norwich, like I said, I think they're a good team. I think they'll stay up. They did okay, but we had too much for them today. 3-0, two clean sheets on the bounce. Going to Watford next, who had a busy, difficult game at Chelsea today. At Watford... It's not just about how we play. We've got to win the battle. It will be direct. They will come at us with long balls, mid-range balls, win the battle, win the second balls. If we do that, I think we'll score. Our class will show. If we keep a clean sheet, we will win that game. But they will come at us, and it won't be easy. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Christmas. Let's hope your, uh, this result has given you as good a Christmas as it has me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Give the video a like. Tell me what you thought of the match review in the comment section below. And follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.